glory anymore. Hallelujah. We have an altar. Oh my God. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. welcome, 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 welcome. Hallelujah. So Israel never missed their calendar. Because God said, I've got feasts. And I want you to celebrate them. There were seven. But they were, they were shortened into three. So they are all in this book. So the, 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 the feast of Passover... Passover. Pentecost. Pentecost. And Tabernacles. Three great feasts of God. So there are, there are seven actually. So it's a feast of Passover. The feast of unleavened bread. The feast of sheaf of first fruits. They, they fall under category one. Category two, category the feast of weeks, which is Pentecost. Category three, the feast of trumpets. The feast, the feast, the feast, the feast day of atonement. And the feast of tabernacles. So all these feasts are seven. And God said, don't forget my feasts. Always when you gather, remember my feasts. That is First Corinthians. Let's go there quickly. Chapter 5. Chapter 5. Don't forget my feasts. Verse 8. Therefore, let us keep the feasts. Let's keep this feast. Amen. Amen. This feast should always be there. In remembrance, you must remember me by this feast. The feast of Passover, that is the one we are in today. This is the feast of Passover. And uh, uh, because the Lord passed, over, pass, over the children of Israel. The angel of death did not kill them in that day. Amen. The second feast, the feast of Pentecost. And the third feast, the feast of Tabernacles. So today I'm going to talk to you about this first one, the feast of of uh, Passover. So actually, what do you call this day? The name of this day. What do you call it? Sorry? this. You don't know this day. What? Pasiga. No, yes, no. What is another name? What is the name? It's not Easter. Don't ever think about that. And it's not, it's not Good Friday. So don't call it Good Friday. Don't yeah, it call it Good Friday. Don't call it. Um, sorry, don't call it uh, Pasika. Don't call it all this. These uh, names. What is the day? What is the name of this day? How many ever read this book? If you read this book, you must know. Because you have to from Lord's Passover to Lord's Supper. We are gathering together at the Lord. Lord's It's the name of this day. The Lord's Supper. And Supper is what time? 
Siskatban. Oh, it's your son. Send them Bamo, it's Katban. So the Lord's Supper is. It's not the morning like this. This is the morning, you yes. see. So they celebrated his eat in the evening. Eating supper. And they were not using that small glasses. Small, small cups. They were eating meal. It's a meal. Supper. So that's why Jesus said to... to to John and Peter, go to the city. You'll find a man. Go with him to his boss. Ask him about the upper room. And buy a lamb for us. It's a sapa. They are going to eat. They are going to eat with him. So we are never to let a third class. Just a little class like this. That's why uh, 1 Corinthians 11 says, Evil ambile is a kaya. So because others, we were so rich. So, so God said, no, 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 don't do that. Paul said, no, 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 no. Because don't embarrass others. You see that? It was a feast. It was a feast and it was a celebration. A feast of the Lord. A celebration. They were celebrating the goodness of God. Remember what I did for you in Egypt. That is why you celebrate. You celebrate remembering Jesus saving you from Amadrozi. From Abakin. Remember me. So what is this feast for? What is that day? You celebrate remembering. What the Lord has done for me. So you can't embarrass somebody. By, by celebrating what the Lord did for you. Let's turn now today for, for Luke chapter 22. Luke 22. Let's start with chapter 1, verse 32. And behold, you will conceive when I marry. And bring forth a son. And shall call his name Jesus. Verse 32. He will be great. And will be called the son of the highest. So do you see this thing here? You shall... Give birth to a son. And you shall give this, this son Lindotana. shall be the son of the highest. The son of God. Son. As many son Indotana. of God. And then yesterday Isolo. yesterday was seated and then yeah, this ways just came to my ears. Check out God the Son and Peg. Son of God. Pega unkulunkulu indotana, nendotana, kankulunkulu. I found everyone. God the Son. Unkulunkulu indotana. The Son. Indotana. Of God. That's into kankulunkulu. I was so confused yesterday. Say, like, what? God the Son. God the Son. Are you aware, Lelka Malik, in the Bible? 
God the Son is not in the Bible. In the Bible, Kuna the Son of God. So I was I was so shocked. That is why I'm going Jesus. That's why Jesus in Chamba Zaga Jesus in Ning Guntula Bonk. I am too galobabalo. His father sent him. Ubaba wake wam to mail. He sent him on earth. Wam to mail him shabini. To die, to give his life, to, to die for us, and to arise so that he will start living for us. So he died for us, now he's living for us. He died for, for you, now he's living for you. So what is wrong with you? O fanele nje uzinigelo guwe, ukolelo guwe. Because he died for you. Ukfele. Now he's living for you. Manje uyakpilela. Jesus died for me. Ujesu wangfele. Now he's living for me. Manje uyangpilela. So mina actually ngi fanele nyenzi. Amen. He died for me. Wangfele. So now the life I now live in the flesh. I live it by the faith of the Son of God. <laughs> the faith of what the Son of God. The life now I live. I live it by the faith of the Son of God. Happy Passover. Happy Lord's up. Amen. He died for me. One he, died. he died for me. One he, died. he died on the cross. For my sinship. And he also died. For my sonship. So he didn't only die for your sin. He died for you to be a son. He died for your sin. And he also died for your sonship. The problem is when you only remember sinship. And you are always talking about Izono. Izono Zako. Izono. Upume zono eni, izono ni 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 zono. Hey, me na we bona bengi nzi zono, izono zono 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 zono. And then you forget, this is twenty percent. No, no, twenty percent. For two thousand years, people are only preaching zono, izono, zono, izono, and they forget the sun, 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 sun. And this one is at 80%. Amen. So we focus on 20%. And then we forget about the 80%. Why Satan works corp, work donor, work shy, work castle? It's because you don't see yourself as a son. Why Satan because he came as a son, son. What is a son? It's the highest rank in the kingdom. A son, you are more than a lion. As a son, you are powerful, you are dangerous, you are, a, you are an army in the kingdom. You are a kingdom army. Jesus went to the cross to make you a son. But we are not peace son. Son and sin. Sin, S-I-N. Son, S-O-N. I'm crucified. That is why you focus on the wrong. You will never rise. You will never rise into a Godship. Until you understand sonship. And in these last days, days are cruel. Everywhere you go is cruel. It's not safe. 
You have to be a son. So that the people who are with you will be saved. Wherever you go, they should be safe. Why haven't you got paper? Because you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Because wherever a son is, there is a way of escape. Hi, 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 hi. Amen. If Abu Tosibayangena Lamanj, they will see wildfire. Fire, fire. fire. Because second sons pagate la sons. So nyo pe pangalama sons. Ah, abangi iso la bantu, abangi iso la bantu. Anga abangi iso la bantu. The people who are entering churches and shooting. Abantu abangi ne mabantu ne bantu bule. So gufunega many of us to become sons. Because once you become a son, you start manifest. Go manifest some things from you. Go manifest a fire. Go manifest a wind. You can manifest anything. The, the soldiers of David, they manifested lions. Can you imagine you are fighting with a person? You are fighting with a Suddenly you say, we are changing your pambi guaku. Uba lendo in Sabaka cool. Lift up your right hand, I'm a son. Pagamisa San Sogosu singing in Dodan. You are a son of God. O in Dodan, Agankulungulu. You see that? You are the son of God. O in Dodan, Agankulungulu. So you are not very far. A Uko Gute. From starting to manifest sonship. Uko Kalu Vezo Budodan. From your life, because everyone who is a son, Ngoba wongo manifestations. Amen. So Jesus said, "Siba kanya na le tambon, siba kanya na le tambon." So Jesus will appear and disappear. Oh Jesus, oh vela pinda nyama la. As a son, I'm here. Suddenly, I disappear. Nyilana masinya ni nyama la. Amen. 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 So. God wants the end time church to manifest sonship. As long as you are a church member, you are going nowhere. You are, going you are weak. You are down. Church members, this time, 2024, you are still a church member. You must be a kingdom member. When are you going to manifest Sonship in your family, your family and relatives, they don't believe in God. They are waiting for you to become a son. So that you just appear among them and start helping them. No one will help your family until you become a son. Amen. Amen. And it takes time for God to train a son. It takes some time. Because it's the highest rank. Higher than prophets, apostles. Sonship. Jesus was a son. So God announces that this is my son. Can you imagine? He doesn't say, this is my prophet. This is my apostle. No, this is my son. It's a high, high rank. And as from today, listen to him. Jesus never preached until he became 30. He, in other words, he never preached until he became a son. Can you imagine when you are just a deacon where you are elder? You, you are still far. You cannot, you are not preaching to the realms. 
And the realms are there open and they're just looking at you. When you become a son, you don't speak to the people only. You speak to the realms. You address the realms. Grow into a son. You have been a church member too long. Become a son now. And as a church member, you receive instructions from pastor. But as a son, you receive instructions from your father. So God will give you kingdom assignments. Who keep up busy? Monday to Monday you are busy. Jehovah sending you, giving you assignments. So we have so many church members. We have so few sons. And when, 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 you are not very far from sonship. When, 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 when. As you are listening to me now, you are not far from sonship. Let's turn to Revelation 1. Verse 5 and 6. Revelation chapter 1. Verse 1. I want you to underline it nicely because it's talking about you. Verse 5, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth. Look at this. To him who loved us, and washed us from our sins. This is the first thing he did on the cross. He washed us from our sins. In verse 5. But you are not done as yet. You must go to verse number 6. Why he washed you? The answer is in verse 6. And has made us kings and priests Melchizedek to his God and Father that is kingdom sonship he went to the cross to wash our sins and also to make us sons are you washed in the blood of Jesus? Then you are becoming a son of God. John 1 verse 12. Thank you Jesus. Verse 12. But as many as received him to them he gave the right the ability, the power to become sons of God. He's giving you power. So inside you when you receive him, when you receive Jesus, inside you, he gives you power to become a son. That's why I say you are not far. Because as soon as you receive him, the only thing is that we delay to receive him. And again, we take time to receive him and again we delay understanding the purpose of why we should receive him. Why have you received him? To become a son. You don't just wake up as a son. You receive him, you get born again. And he gives you power to become a son. You must become a son. Because when you become a son, the whole creation, Romans 
verse 19. Let me show you Romans 8, 19. The whole creation is interceding for you. Creation is praying for you. Trees are praying for you. Frogs are praying for you. Animals are praying for you. To become a son. Because the day you become a son, animals will rest from their enemies. Hey, 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 hey. Trees are interceding for you. They want you to become a son. Because the moment you become a son, human beings won't be cutting them, cutting them, cutting them, cutting them. Cutting them. That's why a tree and you have grass and you have flowers they are kneeling before God praying for you to become a son. Ay, 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 ay. When you hear your frogs is interceding for you to, to become a son. When you hear dogs barking midnight they are seeing witches and wizards. They say, Mama, we are running in daughter. So that we, we shall be rescued from witches and wizards. Let's read. For the endless expectation of the creation, we are born. Eagerly waits. The creation is waiting for the revelation, the manifestation of the sons of God. Son of God. Because we are going to rest. We're going to rest from evil people. Expectation of creation. The manifestation of the sons. Lift up your right hand. It's Maring Yobanini in Dotan. Maring Yobanini in Dotan Agangulungo. Oxala, Saint Kalil. Amen. The son in Dotan becoming a son. Obey in Dotan. Yo, 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 yo. You'll rescue many people. Because as a son, God will give you cities. He rule cities. You win cities and you rule cities. Sometimes God will send you to New York. Cape Town. Cape Town. They go and stay there for three weeks. I want you to manifest sonship power in the city. This city is going Wayward. You see, but your presence in the city, just stay there three weeks, you'll see what will happen. They will start arresting drug lords. Evil in the city will start to be blocked because we're in Aulaka. Until Upuma in the city. Do you see why God wants you to be a son? We shall Dota. not all be pastors. Song, we si shall be not fundis. all be prophets. Si be but we shall song. all be sons. God was song si not all of us qualify to be pastors and prophets. At but song. all of us qualify to be sons. Si si son in politics. Son in business. Son in entertainment. Son in media. Son. Amen. You see that? Wherever you are, you must be there as a son. Because if you are a son, everyone will benefit. Amen. You see the, ne the last movement on earth. God wants to move through you. 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 Aksana, Aksana, the great man of God. 
Guna ne great sons, who ne sons and daughters of sons of God. Yes, sons. I'm a daughter. So God will use sons to manifest glory. Sons to manifest glory. The Father works with sons. Jesus works with prophets and apostles. But the Father works with sons. God will use sons to manifest glory. Only Upela. I see Vegas. So the father works with sons. Only Ubaba is the father of sons. Ubaba wamadotana. The first son in Dotana is Jesus. Uchesu. So Jesus was here on earth Uchesu. teaching all of us how as a son. How to work with your father. Usebenza ganjani no baba wako. A son working with his father. A son working with his father. Baba. Adam, the son of God, Adam, working with his father. Look at Adam. Every three to six in the morning, Njalungo, three the father will come to Adam. Ubaba, uza, go Adam. Cool of the day is between three and six in the morning. Go, three, no, six, the six, father will come and say, Adam, and fellowship with Adam. He's a son and his father. Fellowship with Adam and Eve. There were sons. And giving them instructions of what to do in the kingdom of Eden. And the father working with Abraham as a son. And the father working with Israel, the nation of Israel, as a son. And the father working with Jesus as a son. Now, the father wants to work with you as a son. Jesus said, as a son, I do nothing without asking my father. I'm here on earth to fulfill the assignment of my father. And when I finish it, I go back to my father. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are not living for your family. You are living for the assignment. assignment. God has given you assignment to fulfill before you die. One day he will ask you, ask you have you finished your assignment? On earth. I put you on earth to fulfill the assignment. Have you assignment finished your assignment before you die? Look how you die. You didn't die right because you are supposed to finish assignment and die. When now you assignment. die before you finish your assignment? And majority, as I'm looking at you, this one will die because of sugar. This one will die because of this and that. And then you find that you don't die for assignment. Assignment. You are going to die so fast before you fulfill your assignment. Your body is carrying assignments. But one day you will sleep and never wake up. Your body is the temple of the assignment. Your body carries the assignment. Are you going to fulfill it? Are you going to fulfill the assignment? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Check the way you eat. Balance your meal. Check how you eat, what you eat, and how you eat. Pega gutu zani, no gutu ulaganjani. Live a fasted life. Pila impilo yogo zila. God is not going to use special people. You hear me again? 
God is not going to use special people like the past. He used prophets, powerful prophets, apostles, but in this last move, he's going to use all. As long as you are available, God wants to use you. He wants to give you assignments for your generation. Can you imagine somebody is going to build a mall? Assignment they are going to build a mall. It's in business. Your assignment is in business. This one, your assignment is in sports. This one, the assignment is in media. This one, the assignment, you see, different assignments from God above. We have an old 